Okay, as you can see, we got this bolted back here. I don't have it tight yet. I just wanted to show you how it was bolted up there. That. This is all hooked up. The line's hooked up. It's going across where it needs to, which we'll show you later. Um, but once again, delays, delays. These two little washers on here, hold on, are brass. See those two washers? Right there. Those are brass washers. And they actually go into grooves in this thing. Yeah, I'll show you. But they go into those grooves on here if you can see them. Yeah, let me see if I can get this damn thing to focus. I'm just working with. Oh, there we go. Now, see those grooves there? Little rings? They're on both sides. Those washers, I believe, are a soft copper. So when you compress, well, I mean, it's not a soft copper, but it's copper, and I think they seal into that when you hook it up to there. There's the old one. We don't want that one there, so sure as you would it's stuck there so i got to get out from underneath the car grab a hammer and a screwdriver and pop that off and then up that up to there and then uh right here this is the bleeder brake that uh, looks like it's pretty rusty corroded on there the best way to get that loose if it doesn't turn real easy i sprayed it yesterday with some pv breaker but Boy, that camera just doesn't want to focus, does it? It's just my eyes. Anyways, I got CHS or CSS. Can't see shit no more. It's old man disease. But that is the bleeder screw. You got to do it with two people, but you start at the front with the one closest to the main um, brake cylinder. And then... You screw that you, you loosen this up or you you mash on the brakes a couple of times pump them up a few times and then hold it to the floor and then the person on the outside breaks this thing loose and you and then all the air will come out of the line first and then if you break it loose and just air comes out then you tighten it back down and then the person lets off the brake and pumps it again and then holds it and then you do the same thing again loosen this it'll it'll make the pedal up in the in the cab go to the floor and then they hold it to the floor and then you tighten this back up and tell them to let their foot off the brake and pump it again and then hold it and you do that until brake fluid comes out so might get lucky and it might come out soon but this is a brand new line so there's going to be some air coming out these will have to be bled because air compresses brake fluid doesn't so that's why if you have air in your lines your brake pedal will go to the floor because the air will compress but the brake fluid won't so when you get all of the air out of the line and you push that pedal there's no sponge because it's all fluid and it just locks it locks up the brakes I'm pretty sure not for certain but I'm pretty sure that's how this works you know logic you know a little bit of logic so then you go to the you start at the driver's side to, uh, front brake then you go to the passenger side front brake then you probably would go to the driver's side rear brake and then this one here is the passenger side rear brake so it'll be the last one done so anyways that's it all right we'll see you later